Hey guys, I'm going to be going over a rotations guide on Zora for beginners. I'm not going to do any requirements or anything like that. There are plenty of good videos out there for that. The focus of this video is just to help you visually on defeating Zora and to go over her rotations map and then do some live examples at the end. That way you can follow along, see what it is I'm doing, and hopefully lead to your first Zora kill. So let's go ahead and begin. So here's a picture of Zora's phases. She's gonna have three main phases and then her fourth one's gonna be her chat phase. First one here is gonna be her range phase, her serpentine phase, she's gonna appear green, use protect for missiles. Next phase is gonna be her reddish orange phase or her magma phase, that's gonna be melee. You do not need protection prayers for this because her melee attacks are easily avoided. And then the third phase here is teal turquoise, it's gonna be her tanzanite phase. This is her magic phase. This is the pain and the ass phase, the psycho ex-girlfriend phase, the whatever you call it phase. She will use protect from magic, however she will throw in range hits, and those range hits can hit quite often, and I believe the max hit is 41, so she can definitely stack some damage on you, especially when she also has her little snakelings attacking you at the same time. So this phase, protect from magic, but make sure you pay attention to your health and be prepared to eat. And then finally her fourth phase, it's going to be her Jad phase. She looks just like her Serpentine phase here. However, she's going to be rotating between range and magic attacks. During rotations 1 and 2, she starts off with range. And during rotations 3 and 4, she starts off with magic. Okay, so here we have Zora's map for her rotations. We have 1, 2, 3, and 4. The best way to go about this is to learn one rotation at a time and then move on to the next. It's going to take some time, it's going to take some patience, you're going to die, you're going to waste money, you're going to waste teleports, but in the end it's worth it. To start off right away, you can actually learn one and two together, because right here the first three, and the last three are the exact same. So six out of the ten phases are the exact same. The only difference is going to be the middle four. However, if you look, we're standing in the exact same locations for the most part. So basically, even though the middle four are different, you're basically standing in the exact same location just about. So really, the first two phases are very similar, and you can actually learn one and two together. And right away, you have 50% of the rotations down. Just do that for a little bit. Make sure you feel confident and to the point you don't need to look at the um, visual aid in order to kill Zora. Move on to the third one. Do the same thing. Move on to the fourth one. Um, it probably only took me 20 KC to get them all down confidently. And then uh, I didn't need any aid anymore. It was pretty simple. It doesn't take as much time as you think. Just be sure you also note that on rotations 1 and 2, on the Chad phase, you have range first, and on 3 and 4, you have mage first. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into the live examples of the rotations. During each of these rotations, just follow along with everything I'm doing, and stand exactly where I stand, and you'll do just fine. Let's go ahead and start rotation 1. Take the boat, turn on your Mystic Might Prayer, or Augury, and run to the northeast corner. You'll start in this exact same corner every single time for every single rotation. And I'd always face my camera south, it's always just easier. Next phase will be melee, don't need to do anything for this. She'll attack twice. On the second attack, move over, and you can avoid it. Next will be magic, so change to your ranging gear. Next will be range, so change to your magic gear.
Here you can turn off your prayer. When she starts shooting out the snakelings and the venom clouds, she's not attacking you, so to conserve your prayer points, you can just turn off your protection prayer. Next is melee. And actually in this corner by this pillar, you don't need to move at all. Both hits will miss. Next will be magic, so change to your ranging gear. I ran there a little early, but that's okay. You're going to run here, switch to your magic gear, protect from range. Next is going to be magic, change to your range stuff. And just move over slightly. You can use long range, but I don't like using long range. So I just kind of move a little bit closer. And then midway through this, once the venom clouds move, you're going to want to move over. Next is going to be the jad phase. So early on, change your gear. Make sure you heal up here. Start with range. And each time she bobs her head, just click the other prayer. Then run back to the very beginning where you started off. She'll have a melee phase, and that'll be the last phase of her rotation. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish her off here. Move over on the second hit. And this is the start of the next rotation, but she was basically about to die, so I just went ahead and finished her off. And that's rotation one. going to begin rotation two just like rotation one it is very similar however there are just subtle differences in the middle but for the most part you can be running to the exact same locations so let's go ahead and just get into it same as always run to the exact same corner turn on your mystic might start attacking Next phase will be the melee phase. Don't need to do anything. Remember on her second hit, run over. Don't go too early, otherwise she will hit you. Okay, range gear, protect from magic. At this point you still don't know if you're in one or two. But this is where you will know she spawns west instead of south. So now you know you're in phase two. Next, range gear, protect from magic. Try to avoid the venom clouds. You can just use long range at that point, but I don't like using long range. Here you can turn off your prayer, run a little south because the venom clouds will get you. Next is going to be melee phase. Remember in this location she can't hit you so you do not need to move at all. Next will be range phase. Next, range gear, protect from magic. This is the phase right before the Jad phase. Range can sometimes really get you. Okay, make sure you always heal up before the Jad phase. So step back, heal up, change your gear, protect from range first. And each time she bounces her head, switch to the other prayer. Always make sure you heal up before the chat phase because there will be no time to heal because you have to constantly change your prayer. OK, 
Okay, when she turns and does the Venom Clouds run back to the very beginning. And this is the last phase of her rotation. So go ahead and I just finish her off here. And that will be phase two. So for rotation three, um, it's my best rotation. I get my quickest kills done in this rotation. So it actually took a long time to even get a video of this. I actually kind of had to stop attacking towards the end of the kill. That way I didn't kill her off too quickly. I always kill her before the jet phase in this phase. So for the sake of the video, I wanted to go through all phases of the rotation. So I actually stopped attacking her. That way it would actually get through. So when you see that, that's why. So let's go ahead and begin the third rotation. Run to the same corner, turn on your Mystic Might. Our next phase will be range phase. You don't need to move, just gotta put on protect from range. Next phase will be melee. You're going to run into the corner by the pillar. You're going to turn off your protection prayer. Remember, staying in this corner, her melee hits cannot hit you. She'll throw some Venom Clouds first, and then she'll go for her two melee hits, but you do not need to move. Next phase after this is going to be magic, so you're going to have your range gear on. You want to try to avoid that Venom Cloud, but sometimes you get pulled into it, like I just said. That's okay. Next is going to be range, so magic gear on. Next is going to be magic, so you're going to want your range gear on. Next is range, so magic gear on, stand in the corner by the pillar. She actually doesn't hit you in this phase, so you can actually turn off your protection prayer if you want. Same, it's still going to be range, don't need to move, but this time you will need your protection prayer. So I kind of stop attacking her a little bit. Next is going to be magic, so you're going to run to the corner, put on your range gear, protect for magic. I attacked her a little bit. I'm just going to start shooting Venom Clouds and stuff. Next is going to be the Jad phase. Remember, this is rotation three, so it's going to be magic first, not range. Make sure you heal up, magic first, and each time she bobs her head, change. Next is going to be magic phase, and this will be the final phase of her rotation. So I actually do not get the kill at this point, so I end up cutting off the video just to keep it consistent with going through all the phases in the rotation. And that is rotation three. I clipped the video at the end there from rotation three, so you didn't get to see it, but I actually got a Tanzanite fang drop, so that was nice. Let's go ahead and go straight into rotation four. Nothing special about it. Gonna start in the exact same corner every time. Mystic Might. Next phase is gonna be magic phase. So you're gonna wanna switch your to your ranging gear, protect from magic.
She'll be on this phase for a little bit. You're gonna run to the corner, switch to your magic gear, protect from range. Next is gonna be magic, so it's changing your ranging gear. Next phase will be melee. You're gonna stand on the opposite pillar. Don't need protection on. She can't hit you in this corner. Next will be range. So just put on your protect from range. You don't need to move though. And the next phase will also be range. Don't need to move, stay in the exact same spot. And then midway through this, you're gonna run over to the opposite pillar. You just wanna wait until those venom clouds clear up. Once they clear, just start heading over to the other corner of the pillar. Keep attacking. Next phase will be magic, so you're gonna have your range gear ready to go. Next will be range, so you're gonna have your magic gear on. You're gonna to run to the opposite pillar. Next will be the magic phase in the exact same spot. So you're gonna to switch to your range gear, but you don't need to move. And then the next phase will be the jad phase. So towards the end of this phase here, you're gonna make sure you heal up, switch to your magic gear, and remember it is magic first. Every time she bows her head, change. Next will be magic, so put your range gear on. This is the last phase of the rotation. So I will cut this video as well. And that is rotation four. All right, so that was all the rotations for Zora. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope it helped you at least a little bit and good luck.